algorithm. Let us take a new case of linear programming. That is maximize z equals to 2x1 plus 3x2 plus 4x3 subject to the constraint. 3x1 plus x2 plus 4x3 less than or equal to 600. 2x1 plus 4x2 plus 2x3 greater than or equal to 480. 2x1 plus 3x2 3x2 plus 3x3 is equal to 400, sorry 540, x1, x2 and x3 all are greater than or equal to 0 or non-negative. Number 1, the objective is maximization, but we have all the 3 possible signs in all the 3 constraints. The first is with less than or equal to, that is directly matching with maximization objective, but second is greater than or equal to and the last is equals to. So, we have to use BGAM method, that is point number one. Number two, with greater than or equal to sign, we have no single variable, but all the three are there in the constraint. So, we cannot simplify this problem as we had simplified one or two problems earlier. We have to keep this problem as it is and we have to use BGAM method. For the purpose of simplification, the first constraint is less than or equal to, so we will have to add slack variable. The second is with greater than or equal to, so two additional or virtual variables will be there. We will, go in, we will subtract slack variable and we have to add artificial variable. And in this case, the sign of equal to or is equal to, so we have to add only artificial variable. Mind well, the first S stands for slack because less than or equal to sign. The second S stands for surplus. That's why we have to subtract it because of greater than sign. Artificial variable, S stands for artificial variable. So let us write the simplified form of this problem with equalities by introducing the three possible rather required virtual variables but the objective is maximization so we have to take a special care at the time of writing objective function or z function maximize z is equal to 2x1 plus 3x2 plus 4x3 plus 0s1 the coefficient of slack variable is always 0 plus 0s2 the coefficient of surplus variable is, is always 0 in objective function now the coefficient of artificial variable is always m but the sign of m in objective function is directly dependent on the objective. In this case, the objective is maximization, so the sign will be negative. A very small thing, but very important. If by mistake we take positive sign here, the problem will be on the wrong track right from the inception. Since the objective is maximization, we have to take minus sign with m in the objective function when we are using big M method. Please remember this. Subject to the constraints, the first is 3x1 plus x2 plus 4x3 plus s1 equals to 600. The second will be 2x1 plus 4x2 plus 2x3 minus s1 plus a1 equals to 480. The third will be 2x1 plus 3x2 plus 3x2 plus a2 equals to 540. And we have now 3 plus 1, 4, 5, 6 and 7 variables. x1, x2, x3, 
एस वन एस टू ए वन एंड ए टू ऑल दीज आर नॉन नेगेटिव दिस इज द सिंप्लीफाइड वर्जन विथ इक्वालिटीज सो नाउ वी कैन सोल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम through simplex table or number of required simplex tables from in the next lecture we are going to prepare the simplex table number 1 and going to get the initial solution of this problem thank you